Ooh, shit, bro. Let me get, let me get my hat. I'm not about to get cracked on. What's good, everybody, man? It's not you with my second customization. Um, this is not this time around. Like I'm, I'm saying, like I made like a lot of custom. This time is not gonna be my shoe. This is somebody else's shoe, and it was it was already custom. And uh, here it is. The damn, what is this shoe called? Oh, really, nigga? Fuck. Break. All right, this is the Baron Nine. It's already customized, as you can already see. Basically, a gray upper with just a midsole. Um, black, which it was already black from the jump. What the f I'm gonna do a, a more in depth view of it, of the shoe, of what it looks like, more of like a before and after. And yeah, I mean, it's not really that bad. And you can tell he, the dude wore it pretty heavy, but some of these, some of this really just don't make sense, in my opinion. It's not a bad custom, it's just a midsole that really hurts me. The fact that this dude really did white coat, a blue coat, and then he topped it with a black. But, this is the shoe, I'm gonna have it in this corner of what we have planned to do. Uh, it's basically just a all white shoe with just a black tongue and sock liner, which I don't understand. But hey, it's his shoe. I'm not about to argue with you about your own fucking shoe, you know. So, yeah, um, we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into it. Uh, before I start, I don't want to make this intro any longer than what it should be. Um, I just want to thank everybody that uh, you know show show me love, man. Show me love on my first custom. Um, I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting probably like I was expecting probably like um, probably like ten views, maybe twenty. I got feedback, man. I got I got some good feedback. I I think I got like one, not even bad feedback. It was just more about lighting, and I'm trying to solve that now. But uh, I'm just really really working with what I got. And, and for the people that subscribe to me, man, uh, I really do appreciate it. Like for real, like yo, when I first started like that video, I had like three subscribers, and then after that video, like two weeks later, maybe I think like that's when. Cause I changed the title a week later and that's when it started getting like views. I think it's cause the views, I don't know. But like, let's just say a week later, I got like 20 subscribers. Um, coming from that, I mean, coming from three to 20 and just a matter of days of changing the title, which I should have did a better job of titling it. But still, I still appreciate that. Cause it wasn't like I was forcing it down your throats. Uh, I wasn't telling nobody to like or comment or anything the most I do probably for now on is probably like uh, I'll probably just tell you like just give me some feedback I don't feel like I'm to the point to where I can ask people to subscribe and I'm not I feel like that's that's when it becomes a job when you have to ask people to subscribe and all that shit I'm not gonna ask you it's fully your choice uh, the most I which I'm still asking you guys now just give me feedback and you guys did all that plus some. So I really do appreciate that. Um, and enough talking, man, enough emotional part. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Something bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never do After I got done scrubbing the paint off the shoe, I moved over to the urn. And the reason why I did this is because one, to get as many creases off as I could, and two, after I get the creases off, less creases mean better chance of the paint sticking on. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. I get you home by a decent time. Wait, fuck your bed, you can sleep in mine. 
Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils too. Here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you work at clothes, you in dental school. Wife and now you folding clothes, cooking dinner too. Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pen Griffey too. It's only right that I swing by and hit it too. First base, second base, third base. I'm trying to get you in your birthday. Oh, I know these other niggas Thursday, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me. You feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Once I get everything taped up, I'm pretty much good to go on the painting part. So, what I start off with is a flat white with a little dab of duller. I don't really oversaturate, you know, my paint with the duller because it'll basically make it into like a chalky material. Wasn't really trying to go for that. And another thing that I did use was an airbrush. Airbrush is pretty much just a lifesaver. Basically, when you're doing like um, a plain custom, like I don't know, maybe a custom with just like two primary colors, it's a lifesaver. Once I made it down to the midsole, I wanted to make sure I added in just a little bit, maybe probably like two dabs of hard film, just to give it more of a, a plastic supportive look to it. After I get done with the midsole, I prep for doing the speckles. And what I did with the speckles, I just got a plastic plate, got the flat black, mixed just a little dab of hard film, and just got the toothbrush and started doing work. And what you'll see in the video is you'll see me flicking my fingers a little bit. And basically, what I'm doing there is uh, I'm using my fingers as you know the speckle maker or whatever you want to call it. It came out well in my opinion. But that's about it with the finished product but i do want to apologize that i really don't have as much footage of the finished product because i did leave the shoe in lafayette that's where i go to school i don't know how i left one shoe in lafayette i don't know but you know things happen so i really hope you guys enjoyed the little footage that i do have and yeah that's about it i'll be back probably the next three days with um another customization most likely it's gonna be on my ultra boost most likely if not it's still going to be a customization of something. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all have a good day, man. It's not. I'm out. Peace. So think I'm running game, huh?